I've been shopping at Lidl's. What a beautiful February day. broke off my inside out bag stuff everywhere never mind okay so yeah I've been shopping at Lidl's I'll start again it's a beautiful day out there today it's February the sun's shining I picked the beer before I went out and I'm gonna be pairing it with some SFC take home boneless buckets it has golden pieces of tasty chuckling chicken strips dippers and poppets coated in a southern fried coating they go in the oven for 20 minutes let's get cooking food's cooked let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get this is called glog by bragdy tweet lol it's a session copper ale coming in at four percent abv silver bottle cap let's get the beer out into a glass see what we get Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Yeah, exactly what it suggests really. A copper ale, slightly hazy, two fingers slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. A solid, solid aroma. Something quite, quite traditional. Jam, tart like hops coming through. Touch marmalady. There's a certain nuttiness to it, a breadiness. It smells really, really good. Let's dive in, cheers. Oh yeah, really nice. Just something very traditional. Oh, look at me with my oven glove on. <laughs> Just something very traditional. Nutty, biscuity, bready. Quite tasty. Sessionable. You could have about four or five of these quite easily. Marmalade on the back end, fruit. I'd say traditional British hops, but the balance between that, a little bit of sweetness to begin with, that nice bitterness on the back end, it's really good. Now, the reason why I'm wearing an oven glove is that we have this SFC boneless bucket. It was on offer. I've just been a little, well, you've seen, the shopping bag went everywhere. Uh, this was £1.99 for a, a box of a bucket of chicken. Uh, we got some chicken strips. Uh, what else have we got? What else have they called it? Uh, dippers and poppets. So these are going to be the dippers. And these are going to be the poppets. Should we start off with a little poppet? Coincidentally, it's Friday. There's something about the weekend starting. I mean, a lot of people go shopping on the weekend because it's payday, yeah? It's payday for me Friday, so I generally go shopping on the Friday. And there's something, uh, there's a certain element of a Friday shopping day that you finish work, you're almost, well, you are, you're celebrating the weekend, you put a little cheeky couple of naughty treats in your shopping basket, don't you? If you don't, then, then you must be, I don't know. I think everybody deserves a little treat. And this is my kind of offer. I think it was a quid off. Something quite cheap, cheerful. I'll save some of it for the kids when they get in from school. Mm. 
For 199 obviously the target market here, what they're trying to replicate, of course, is KFC, yeah? A KFC bucket of boneless chicken will probably cost you 10, 12 pound as of 2019. If you're watching this in 10 years time, it's probably 30 quid by now. Um, yeah, 10, 12 pound for a bucket of KFC chicken, boneless bucket. It's fresh, it's tasty. Um, this is gonna replicate it, but it's, it's a quarter, well, it's less than a quarter, of, it's a fifth of the price. It, it's two, it's 1.99. So the chicken's never really gonna, and of course it's frozen, so you have gotta put it on a tray, get it in the oven. It's never really gonna compete, that's the word I was looking for, compete with KFC. But for the cheeky weekend treat, as I mentioned, the sun is blistering up there. It's February. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. After I finish this review, fill the bucket up with chicken, grab my beer, and go and sit outside in that sun. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want, some, I want a nice, easy life. I'm no gourmet chef. I never will be. Uh, so the popular chicken, let's do a quick review of the popular chicken. It had a little bit more of a, a nice, slightly drier chicken taste. Uh, I like the spice on this. The sudden fried spice is quite nice. The dipper, it was said to put it in for 10 minutes. I think it need, needed a little bit more. It was a little bit juicy. The, what do they call this bit? The strip, the chicken strip actually went in for 20 minutes. Mmm. That's more like it. Lovely chicken texture. Buttery, kind of oily, lovely coated shell. A little bit of southern fried spicy flavour on the outside. Have a look at that. I'll put it down a sec to this. I think this is slightly juicy. I think this needed that's nice and white. I don't know if that's a bit slightly pink chicken. Maybe I got it the wrong way around. Maybe no, I don't think so. I think this was the that's definitely a chicken strip in it. And that's definitely Come to look. A dipper. That's definitely a dipper, isn't it? I would call that a dipper. I might have got it the wrong way around. I'm about to be ill if I am, but... Yeah, a bit wet. A bit... What do I do with it? I ate it. <laughs> well, there we go. You see that? Come on, focus. It's my face. Anyway, this bit's dry. Nice and dry. Perfect dry. That's a bit moist. How does it all go with the beer? Oh. Let me tell you what I picked up off the floor earlier on. I, I dropped a bottle of champagne. There's a bottle of carver. Drop a bottle of carver that I bought for my wife. That was five quid at little. That that dropped on the floor. I thought, blimey, that was lucky that didn't smash. Uh, yogurts went everywhere. They didn't smash. Quite lucky there. You know the little kids' yogurts they take to school. Um, bananas. Yeah, there was everything all over the floor. Nothing. Luckily, luckily, nothing broke. I've had that. I've had that bag for years. One of the, the, if, you, if you notice, I tied it together because it was already breaking and that quick lift up to the camera just killed it. It just, <laughs> it just exploded. Anyway, how does the food go with the beer? That for me, if that was served to me in a pub in Wales, in my local 
I'd be happy with that all night. 4% ABV. I go and sit in the beer garden in the sunny, sunshiny February day as it is out there today. And I'd have, I'd have about four, five, six, seven pints of this. Uh, well happy. And then I'd come home a bit piddled and I'd grab this out the freezer and I'd chuck it in the oven and I'd have, I'd have some chicken and then I'd have another couple of pints, another couple more pints. Um, yeah, it's typical Friday night cheeky food. Um, I also bought my kids some uh, peanut butter ice creams that were littles. They were a pound. Um, mm -hmm. And oh, for, for review, coming up shortly, I bought some Mr. Brains new, brand new, Mr. Brains pork sausages. Pork sausages, isn't that amazing? That's coming up next week for you guys. Um, how would I rate this? One ninety nine. It's an absolute bargain. Is this tray? Yeah, the tray. Okay, the tray is cold enough now for me to lift up. Um, it's a bucket of chicken for two quid. Some of it's a bit brown. Maybe cook it ten minutes more than they say. No, no hard lines, is it? It's no, it's no, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. The chicken for me for that price is staggering. It's an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. And if you're looking for a cheap weekend for the kids, cheap night, two quid, can't go wrong. Eight out of ten for that. Uh, the beer, sensational, absolutely sensational. It's nutty, biscuity, bready, fruity, jammy, tart like. Perfect. The beer gets a nine. Nine out of ten. Thanks very much for watching. Calamity Joe. <laughs> Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.